Today, inside the Think Fast locker room, if you can find the matching pairs, then you've got what it takes to win cash and prizes worth over $2,600. But watch out, because somewhere inside lurks the ever-smelly red herring. Today, on the gold team, it's Allison and Chad. And on the blue team, Melissa and Adam. And they're here to play. Think Fast, the game where a mercurial mind and fancy footwork means money and prizes. And now, here's the host of Think Fast. Welcome, everybody, to Think Fast. We're coming to you from our new Nickelodeon studios in Orlando, Florida. How are you doing today, audience? All right, they sound like they're ready to have a good time. We hope you guys at home are ready to have fun. Let's meet our teams. On the gold team, we have Chad and Allison. Chad builds model rockets, is on a swim team, and he plays piano. Uh, Chad, where would you like to go to school? I'd like to go to the Air Force Academy. The Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, mm -hmm. huh? And uh, what would you like to do when you get older? I'd like to be an aerospace engineer. An aerospace engineer, which I guess is why you'd like to go to the Air Force Academy, do that whole air thing, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Good luck. Allison plays tennis, dances jazz and tap, and she loves to snow ski. And we understand that she has met somebody very famous while she was snow skiing. Who did you meet? Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. All right. Did you, were they nice people? Yeah, they were. They were nice to you? Yeah. Did you get their autograph? Yeah. Yeah? Where where they autograph? On my goggles on the side of the elastic. I didn't have any paper. So w was it Goldie that did that? Yeah. So when you're ne next time you went skiing, people were going, Goldie, hey! They thought it was you, huh? Yeah. All right. That's our gold team. On the blue team, we have Adam and Melissa. Adam just recently moved back to the United States after being 10 years of living abroad. Where did you live, Adam? I lived for six years in Guatemala, and before that, I lived in the Philippine Islands. In the Philippine Islands. Wow. So you were pretty young, I guess, when you left the United States. And welcome back. Uh, uh, did, you enjoy, did you enjoy living o overseas? It's an experience, and you learn a lot of neat things, new cultures, new languages. Okay, great. Uh, Melissa likes to sing and dance and would like to be an actress when she gets older. And I understand you have an interesting story you'd like to share with us. What is that? Yes, when I was doing the Music Man at the Mark II Dinner Theater, um, I got up to do the dance and my dress came all the way undone, unzipped. Right. And so I walked back to the back of the stage and the girl zipped it up, but she got my hair caught in it. Okay, so you were dancing around with your hair caught like this. Okay, yes. great. Those are our teams. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> Here's how we play Think Fast. Our two teams are going to be competing in a variety of events that are designed to test both their mental ability and their physical skill. If they win an event, they earn cash. And most importantly, they get a shot at answering the Think Fast Brain Bender worth 200 bucks. The team with the most money at the end of the game gets to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes and face the ultimate challenge in the locker room. Yes. Okay, let's play our first event, which today is called Who Stepped in What? What we have here is I'm going to ask you guys a question, and you have to answer it by hopping around on this checkerboard floor using a special sneaker designed to pick up those letters. Your partner will then take those letters off the bottom of your feet, and they'll stick them right up here on the board, uh, and we'll see if you got the answer right. Are you ready? Here's your first question. Here's your question. Actor Mel in the movies... Singer Debbie in rock and roll. Mel who and Debbie who. Are you guys ready? Think fast. Go to it. Okay, they both think they know the answer. They're both going for those letters. Pull them off of there. The gold team's got their first letter up. So does the blue team. They're stepping on down there. Hop on over there, guys. All right. They're pulling those letters out there. They're both filling. The gold team's got three. Blue team's got three, too. The blue team just got another letter. She's picking it up on the board. Oh. This is going to be a close one. Oh. Hurry. All right. The gold team wins. The gold team wins. Let's take a look. We were looking for, yes, the answer is Gibson. Mel Gibson and Debbie Gibson. Way to go, guys. Come on down here. Very good. Come on over here. All right, come on over here. All right, there you go, Chad. All right, you guys just won 50 bucks for that event, and you get a shot at today's brain bender, which is a close-up object. We've taken a picture of an object extremely close. It makes it difficult to figure out what it is. Let's take a look at the brain bender. Let's show that first piece. A roller skate. A 
Okay, we have a... Uh, is it a roller skate? <laughs> no, it's not a roller skate, but that was a good guess. All right, you earned 50 bucks for that, which means the score is now gold 50. Blue's not on the board yet, but we're going to our next event, so let's do it! Okay, uh, we'd like to welcome Mrs. Grossmeyer, our Think Fast dietitian, to the set today. Mrs. G, how are you doing? Well, frankly, Skip, I am very disappointed in you and all your friends here at TV Land. Why is that? Well, I just can't understand why you'd have a television program that would encourage children to become obese. What? Yes, you know, I even think about ice cream and it goes right to my hips here. Right to your hips? No, so I do love that chocolate chocolate chip uh -huh. <laughs> and you know that fried food is bad for cholesterol mm -hmm. oh and those bagels you know i eat bagels and they go straight to my side <laughs> the little devils <laughs> yeah they are little devils sometimes and chocolate cake oh, well i despise chocolate cake mm -hmm. you know why why mm -hmm. chocolate cake if i even imagine having a piece of chocolate cake well it puts three inches right here on this big old butt of mine. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and you this don't want to walk around looking like a big old porker, do you? <laughs> so I just can't figure out why anyone would have a TV program called Think Fat. Um, Mrs. Grossmeyer, the name of the show is not Think Fat. It's Think Fast. F-A-S-T. Fast. Oh. Well, never mind. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys were listening, because what we're going to do is we're going to ask you some questions about what Mrs. Grossmeyer said, and you have to give us the answers, okay? Here's your first question. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. According to Mrs. Grossmeyer, too much ice cream goes straight from her lips to her... Gold. Hips. To her hips. That's, that's right. Yeah. Good to lips to her hips. All right. All right, Gold gets a point. Here's your next one. And what flavor ice cream was she talking about? Blue. Chocolate chocolate chip. Chocolate chocolate chip. She's right. Oh, on the nose. She's saying on the nose. Okay, here's your next one. Uh, and what can you bake to give her a big old butt? Go ahead, Blue. Chocolate cake. Cake is correct. Miss Crossmore got a big old butt. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, here's your next one. And, and, and what holy roll goes straight to her thighs? Gold. Bagel. A bagel is correct. It's a tied score. It's a tied score. Go ahead and read this one, Mrs. Grossmore. Oh, uh, what kind of food do I say is bad for cholesterol? Fried food. Fried food is correct. Three to two, uh, which means gold wins. Gold has three, blue has two. All right, way to go. Thank you, Mr. Grossman. Very good. Come on around here, gold. Very good. Very good. You won. All right, way to go. You just won 50 bucks for your team, and you get a shot at today's Brain Bender. It's close-up objects. Let's take a look. Reveal that next piece. A radio? Uh, uh, Allison is asking, is it a radio? No, it's not a radio. Good guess. All right. You guys, you won 50 bucks, which means the score is now gold has 100, blue has 50. They're not on, I mean, I'm sorry, blue is not on the board yet. We're going to our next event. Let's do it. Our next event is called, well, before we start our next event, which is called Mess Heads, are you guys ready for something really gross? Yeah, okay, good. Our studio audience is ready for some grossness. That's good, because what we've got here is one player from each team will be sitting under one of these bags, and their partner has to answer questions all relating to food. The reward for a correct answer is to come over here and scoop down in here and get a big mess of uh, glop, right? And what they'll do with the glop is they will take that and they'll place it in the bag over their partner's head. And it's the first team to get the brag bag to break that wins. Are you guys ready? Buzz in as soon as you know the answer. Here's your first question. Cured pork or another word for overacting? Cured pork or another word for overacting? Three seconds. All right. Cured pork or would be a ham. Ham. We were looking for ham. Here's your next one. If this vegetable were in the army, it would be undoubtedly be a kernel. Gold. Corn. Corn is correct. Very good. Reach in there. Get a big bucket full of that. Get a big bucket full. There you go. All right. Now go over there and pour that in the bag over Chad. Oh, oh you've got him pretty messy already. All right. But uh, the bag didn't break. All right. Here's your next question. Okay. Here's
Here's your next one. You can eat this dairy product, but you don't want to be around your friends when they cut one. Gold. Cheese, Cheese is correct. Get another scoop of that. Get a big old scoop and pour it in that bag. All right, here we go. Uh oh, almost poured it on right there. Okay, that didn't break the bag yet. Come on back, here's your next one. Don't monkey around with this very appealing fruit. Blue. Banana. Banana's correct. Go ahead, take a scoop. Okay, pour that in there. There you go, Melissa. Get that up there. All right, very good. You're getting a little bit on him over the bag. There we go. All right. Here's your next one. This fruit let out a little wine when the elephant stepped on it. This fruit let out a little wine when the elephant stepped on it. Gold thinks they know. Peanut. Is it a peanut? No, it's not a peanut. Blue, do you have a guess? No. Okay, the answer that we were looking for was a grape. A grape let out a little wine. All right, here's your next one. Sliced sandwich meat, which rhymes with phony, and that's no lie. Bologna. Bologna is correct. Gold, go ahead. Get another scoop. Get another scoop. All right. Will the bag break this time? Is this enough to make it break? Is it enough? Yes! Oh! Oh, yes, it was enough. All right. Which means the gold wins. Come on down here. Come on over here, guys. Come on over here, Chad. Way to go. Oh, yeah, you got that stuff all over you. Very good. You just won 50 bucks for that event, and you get a shot at the brain bender. It's a close-up object. Let's take a look and reveal another piece. Is it a bean? Is it a bean? No, it's not a bean, but you still won 50 bucks. All right, way to go. That means the gold has got 150. Blue's not on the board yet, but when we come back, all dollar values are doubled. Still lots of cash out there. Stay with us. We're back for more Think Fast. The score is gold, 150. Blue's not on the board yet, but hey, we've got two more events that are now worth 100 bucks a piece in round two. We've got the Brain Bender worth 200 bucks. Lots of cash out there. Let's play our next game, which is called Close Calls. For this event, we have a giant phone here, and we're going to have our players take turns hitting the numbered tone buttons. First, one player will pick a number, and then the, their opponent will pick that same number, and they'll add a number. We'll go back and forth, building a sequence until one of them forgets it. You guys ready? All right, since blue is behind, blue, you go first. Pick that number. Okay. Okay, go ahead, gold. There, blue. Okay, good. Okay, there we go. Go ahead, Gold. This one's lasting a long time. Go ahead, Blue. Uh, he's pulling out. Uh, oh, okay. That one went a long time. Way to go. But he got one of the numbers out of sequence. Come on over here, Gold. You won. All right. Way to go. You won 100 bucks for that event. And uh, you get a shot at the brain bender. I want to ri remind everybody it's a close-up object. Let's take a look at it. Block set. Is it a block set? No, it's not a block set, but that was a good, good guess. You won 100 bucks for that event, which means the score is now gold 250. Blue's not on the board yet. We've had uh, stranger comebacks than this happen. Maybe it'll happen. Let's see. Let's go to our next event. This 
event is called Serious Fashion Victim. What we've got here is we have a couple of trunks that are, uh, we have, they have piles of clothing inside them. And in each pile, there's one outfit where four articles of clothing go together. One player from each team has to dress their partners, and the partners are not allowed to help. And to ensure the fact that they can't help, we've put socks on their hands so they can't help dress themselves, all right? It's the first team to make the realized fashion statement that wins. Are you guys ready? Here's your clue. The perfect ensemble for singing in the rain. The perfect ensemble for singing in the rain. Think fast. Go to it. All right, our teams are digging through those things. The blue team is just pulling out stuff, trying to find out what would be singing in the rain. There are four articles that they've got to have. Four oh, articles. Oh, three, 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 one more, one more, one more. All right, the blue team's got a, got a slicker there, a yellow slicker, and they're trying to put it on. <laughs> there you go. Stick it in there. They're having a little trouble. How's the gold team doing? He's digging through there, trying to find those articles. Okay, they're, they're, he's pulling them all out. Now he's put them on the floor in front of him. He found them all. Now they're just putting them on. Let's see how the blue team is doing. The blue team's trying to get those pants on. The blue team wins! The blue team wins! Come on around here, guys! Come on around here! Very good! All right, you got all those four articles of clothing. Let's take this off. Very good. All right, you have a hundred bucks. And you guys get a shot at the brain bender. It's a close-up object. All right, do you have any idea what that could be? A box? Any idea? Three seconds? Box. Is it a box? No, it's not a box, but you guys still won 100 bucks, which means the score is a gold 250, blue's got 100, We've got to go to Sudden Death. Whoever wins this brain bender is going to get to go to the locker room. Let's go over here to Sudden Death. Right over here. Come on. All right. Since nobody's gotten the brain bender, we have to get it. It's worth 200 points. Whoever gets this is going to the locker room. Let's show the brain bender. Reveal the next piece. As soon as you think you know what it is, guys, buzz in. Okay, anybody have a guess? All right, there's no guess. Let's reveal another piece. As soon as you think you know what it is, buzz in. All right, no one's taking a guess. Let's reveal another piece. Okay, the gold team is buzzed in. What do you think it is, Chad? Is it a pencil sharpener? Is it a pencil sharpener? See, that's a pencil sharpener, extremely close, very good. Way to go, the gold team got the 200 points, which means the score is now gold 450, blues 100. Gold's going to the locker room! Yeah! All right, let's talk to the blue team for a second. All right, guys, you guys won 100 bucks for, for getting that last event, and you get to split that, plus you get these great prizes that Henry J is gonna tell us about right now. Melissa and Adam, for your Nintendo acclaimed Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. Two-player head-to-head action, nine incredible missions, and non-stop martial arts excitement from Acclaim. And all of our contestants take home their Converse sneakers, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including All-Stars and leather athletic shoes. From shooting hoops to hanging out, the Converse Kids Collection is all you'll need. Wouldn't you agree, Skip? You betcha, Henry J. Today we're here with Chad and Allison. They've earned the right to go on that Mad Dash for cash prizes. And we come back right after this. Stay with us! room with Allison and Chad. They've earned the right to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes. They seem excited. Here's how we play, guys. Behind me, we have 15 lockers, and inside those lockers, we have seven matching pairs. We'll give you one minute on the time clock, and what you guys have to do is take turns matching up as many pairs as possible in the allotted time. A locker door will open up, and whoever, whatever pops out, you guys have to find the mate, okay? The first four matches are worth 100 bucks a piece. The next three are worth these great prizes that Henry J is going to tell us about right now. Allison and Chad, today's grand prize package includes the Veriflex roller skate, skateboard, and all-steel triple frame Strata scooter, complete with elbow and knee pads. Veriflex, a fun way to get around. And when you want to give your body a rest and your brain a workout, from the publishers of Encyclopedia Britannica comes Children's Britannica. Easy to use and understand with exciting color pictures. Children's Britannica provides you with the very best right from the very start. And if you make all seven 
seven matches, you'll receive a television studio that fits it in your hand. It's Zenith's fully automatic, high-resolution VHS camcorder featuring low-light sensitivity, high-speed shutter, and flying erase head, plus a nine-inch color TV. It's all from Zenith. It could all be yours. Good luck. All right. You got to watch out, though, because inside one of these lockers is the dreaded red herring. The red herring is a character that has no match at all. So if you think you guys have found it, run over here, right? Yank on the herring handle. It'll shut up the lockers and it will allow your partner to continue matching. Let's remind the audience at home who the dreaded one is today. All right, they get another shot at seeing who it was. Are you ready, Allison? Yes. Okay, let's open up a locker and see who she has to match. Oh, I have to go out and I've stolen my maracas. Now my double is in trouble, so be real cute and find that fruit. Okay, you're looking for the other Carmen banana. All right, let's have one minute on the time clock. Ready, Allison? Think fast, go to it. Bunch of great stuff. Henry J, tell them what they won. Allison and Chad, you did it. Great work. Each of you received $400 in cash, plus the Bear Flex package, the Children's Encyclopedia Britannica, and the Zenith Camcorder and Color TV. A prize package worth $2,668.77 each. Whoa, way to go. Are you guys happy? Yeah. Are you guys out of breath? Yeah. Yeah, they're dying here, but they're having a good time. You guys had a good time, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, great. All right, Chad saying it was great. How about you, Allison? Yeah, okay. yeah, she can't speak. She's out of breath. This is Skip Lappy saying, hey, remember, if you don't have time to think twice, think fast. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. is taped in front of a live audience at Nickelodeon Studios located at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida.